Did you know that Rwanda's president Paul Kagame lives in a mansion so secure and hiding that even the most powerful leaders in the world would be impressed? From growing up as a refugee to ruling one of Africa's fastest growing nations, Kagami's life is full of incredible twists. But what is behind this leader's massive fortune and lifestyle and how did he get here? Paul Kagame, a man once forced to free his home country, now holds an estimated net worth of over 500 million US dollars. While he is praised for transforming Rwanda, a country once torn apart by genocide, some questions how much of the country's wealth has found its way into his hands. His rule is celebrated by some and criticized by others. Today, we explore how did Kigami rise from a life in exile to the pinnacle of luxury and power, and is his wealth a reward to rebuilding Rwanda or a result of tightening his grip on power? Paul Kagame was born in 1957 in a life with ethnic tension in Tambwe, now it's Luhango district in Rwanda. His family, part of the toothy minority, fled to Uganda when Kagame was just a young boy. Growing up in exile shaped his view of the world and gave him a strong desire to reclaim his country. As a teenager, Kagame found himself deeply involved in politics and military strategy, joining a rebel group that would later help him achieve his dreams of returning to Rwanda. These early struggles laid the foundation for his future leadership. Kagame's military career took off when he joined the National Resistance Army in Uganda, led by Yowe Kaguta Mse he rode through the ranks in 1990. He led the Rwandan Patriotic Front, RPF, a rebel group formed by Rwandan exiles. The RPF launched a military offensive that ultimately played a crucial role in the ending of the 1994 Rwandan genocide against the Tutsi. Kagame led the RPF to victory, becoming the key figure in rebuilding the country. He became the Minister of Defense and the Vice President from 1995 to 2000 when he was officially President. His leadership brought economic growth and stability, but it also brought controversy. Kagame's control over Rwanda has been tied with accusations of cracking down on opposition and free speech. But how does this balance with his achievements? Despite his strict, disciplined public image, Kagami lives a life of luxury behind the scenes. Married to Janet Nyelamonji Kagami, a well-known philanthropist, they have four children together, Ivan, Ange, Brian, and Ian Kagami. The Kagami family enjoys a lifestyle of extreme wealth, private jets, luxury estates, and access to exclusive properties in some of the world's top locations. Kagami's residence in Kigali is rumored to be an eco-friendly high-tech fortress. His wealth is estimated at over 500 million US dollars, which raises a question, is Kagami simply reaping the rewards of his leadership or is there more to the story? While Okagami's leadership has brought Rwanda back from the brink, it's not without criticism. His government is known for its heavy-handed approach to dissenters. Elections are tightly controlled and the media faces restrictions. Many Rwandan praise Kagami for the economic growth and the peace he has brought to the country. But others, especially the opposition in the diaspora, worry about the lack of democracy and freedom. 
These controversies raise a question, how does Kagami balance his success in building Rwanda with his grip on power? Kagami's influence is not just limited to Rwanda, he is a major player in African politics and is often seen at global forums discussing everything from technology to business. Rwanda has become a hub for innovation largely due to Kagami's leadership. Internationally, Kagami's reputation continues to glow. But even as his influence spreads, a question remains about his personal fortune and how he maintains such a power. His luxurious lifestyle stands in a contrast to his cause for simplicity and hard work. As Kagami continues his reign, Rwanda thrives. But what will his legacy be? Will he be remembered as the man who built a nation from ashes? Or will his story be crowded by accusations of authoritarianism or corruption? One thing is certain, Kagame has positioned himself as a global figure. The luxurious life he leads is a reflection of his power, but it also raises important questions about leadership, wealth, and the cost of maintaining control. So, what do you think? Is Paul Kagame the world's well and reward for his role in transforming Rwanda? Or oh, it is a sign of a leader who has taken too much for himself? As we look deeper into the lives of influential figures like Kagame, we begin to see the fine line between success and power. Can a man once driven by the need to reclaim his country just fight such an immense luxury? Or it is simply the price of leadership? To learn more about influential leaders and downy told stories, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let us know in the comments how do you feel about Kagami's wealth and leadership? Is it justified or it's something to be questioned?